Good day everyone. For today's video, I will show you the square root trick. This is the fastest way to compute square root. So let's begin. Now, for this trick to work, what we're going to do is to memorize this table. This is the square root table. This is very easy because we know the square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 4 comes to 2. Square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 25 is 5, all the way up to 81, because the square root of 81 is 9. Now, let's say, for example, we need to get the square root of 5,329. So, to get the square root, what we're going to do is to divide the digits by 2's from right to left, like this. Alright, we are now ready to get the first digit and the second digit of our answer. Now, for the first digit, we will use this 53. Now, seeing this 53, we know 53 is between 49 and 64. Next, what we're going to do is to choose the smaller digit, and this corresponds to 7. Therefore, 7 is our first digit. Alright, now how about the second digit? Now, for the last digit, we will use the last digit of the number. This corresponds to 9. Now, in this table, notice that we have two 9s, or two perfect square number that ends in 9. We have this 9, and also we have this 49. So this corresponds to 7 and this 9 corresponds to 3. Now the question is which one? Is it 7 or 3? Now to answer that question, what we're going to do is to use the 7 and then we need to multiply this by 1 greater than 7 which is equal to 8. Now we get 7 times 8 is 56. Now 53 is less than 56. Therefore, we need to use the smaller digit, which is equal or which is corresponds to 3 because 3 is less than 7. So, we get the square root of 5,329 must be equal to 7, the first digit, and 3 as the second digit, so 7 to 3. And we are done. That's it. Very simple, right? Now let's have another example. So let's practice our new learning. So what we're going to do is to divide this number by 2 from right to left. So this will give us 24 and 0, 1. Now the first digit comes from 24. Now 24 is between 16 and 25. Next, as always, choose the smaller digit. So this corresponds to 4. Therefore, this 4 is our first digit. Now how about the second digit? We use the last digit which is equal to 1. Now how do we know? Because there are two perfect square that ends in 1. We have 1 here that corresponds to 1 and we also have 81 that corresponds to 9. So which one? Is it 1 or 9? So to answer this, we need to multiply this 4 by 5. So 4 times 5 will give us 20. Now compare 24 to 20. 24 is it greater than 20 or less than 20? Sure enough, this is greater than 20. Therefore, we need to choose the larger digit which is equal to 9 or corresponds to 9. And that will make us the second digit. Therefore, the square root of 2401 simply equal to 49. And that is the answer. Alright? Now, how about the next example? 729. Again, divide the digits by 2's from right to left. So this will give us 7 and 29. Still, we have by 2's. So it doesn't matter if we have one digit here, two digits right here, three digits, and so on and so forth. It doesn't matter at all. Now, the most important thing is we need to divide the number by twos from left to right. All right. 
So, what is 7? This 7 is between 4 and 9. And again, let's choose the smaller digit which is corresponds to 2. So, this 2 is our first digit. Now, how about the second digit? We get this 9. We have 2 perfect square that ends in 9 again. We have this 9 that corresponds to 3. And we also have this 49 that corresponds to 7. So which one? Is it 3 or 7? So to answer this question, we need to multiply these 2 by 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. Now 7 compared to 6. 7 is definitely greater than 6. So we need to choose the larger digit. So this corresponds to 7. And that 7 must be our second digit. Therefore, the square root of 729 must be equal to 2, 7, or 27. And that is the answer. Alright, now for the last example, let's have this number. We have 2916. Divide the digits by 2's from right to left. So, 29 and 16. Next, 29. 29 is between 25 and 26. Now, let's get the smaller digit which is corresponds to 5. And then for the last digit, let's use this 6. And to know which one is correct, is it 16 or corresponds to 4 or 36 that corresponds to 6? We don't know. So, let's have 5 times 6. 5 times 6 is 30. Now, 29, is it less than 30 or greater than 30? Of course, this is less than 30. So, we need to choose the smaller digit, which is equal to 4. So, this means, this is 4. <laughs> so, this is 4. So, this is the second digit. Therefore, the square root of 2916 must be equal to 54. And that is the answer. Oops, this is not the last example. And here it is. This is the last example. First, 1761. So let's get the square root. First, 47 and 61. 47 is between 36 and 49. And get the smaller digit, which is equal to 6. That 6 is our first digit. Now, we have 1. Is it 1 or 81 that corresponds to 9? So, is it 1 or 89? So, to do that, to answer that, we need to multiply the 6 by 7. So, 6 times 7 is 42. Now, 47 is greater than 42. So, let's take the larger digit, which is equivalent to 9. Therefore, this 9 is our second digit. So, the square root of 4761 must be equal to 69. And that is the answer. All right. Hope you learned something new today. And as always, we are done.